Hi, we're John and Steph, and these are our sons, Eliki and Sevenaya. Our family lived and still runs a small business in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Our family has a dream, so we sold our stuff and packed our bags. We moved to a village in Fiji to start a new business venture. We are Waka Family. Morning, everybody. So we got the newest addition to the Waka contract farming unit here. We got our new slasher. So this just rolled in yesterday from Global Machinery. Shout out to Hamza and Rohit and all the guys out there for delivering it. And uh, I've actually just been taking it through its paces on the farm here, on the sandalwood farm. You guys can see behind me. Woo! This thing is sick. It is awesome. It is awesome. I can't even explain to you guys how fast this thing is compared to using a brush cutter. You gotta add things slowly to the fleet and I think that uh, this is gonna be a huge, huge help. To be frank, I, I, we haven't really maintained the sandalwood farm to uh, the best of our... Or to, you know, to a level that we're happy with. So, so this thing right here is gonna really, really help us. Um, do that. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll run you guys to the features. It's already dirty, but I'll, I'll show you guys the features and I'll do a proper video on that coming up here. Um, this is the uh, 1.5 meter model, so it cuts a 1.5 meter swath, I guess. So, um, so between the sandalwood rows here, I'm able to just do two passes and I'm done. And this grass is thick. I mean, it's up past my knees. Moments like this are really, really pivotal for us being you know a small business and and uh trying to do things from the ground up so things like this will really really help us achieve our goals so i'm gonna hop back on the tractor do a couple more runs over here and then actually there was a guy who called me earlier this week and he wanted to he wanted me to come and do some slasher work for him i'm like actually i don't have a slasher yet but i should have one coming in a couple days and it's here now so we're gonna be able to go and do that job and uh yeah start to pay this thing off so let's hop on the tractor and uh, do a couple more passes and then we'll, we'll head into the other farmer's field. So right now we are trying to find our little cow. He's been moved a few times by some people. As it goes in the village, people see that it needs to be moved and they move it. But I think the last person to move it has now gone into town for a few days. So now we're trying to find where it is. All the kids bare feet, dad. See it, it doesn't hurt you. Go fast, 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 fast. 
Yes. Yes. Hard to step on my shoe. Freaking dog. Broke my shoe. Now I get to walk in bare feet. It's all butter grass, sensitive grass. But if you don't see it, it doesn't hurt you. That's what they say. Hey, Saba. Huh? Hey. Hey, Saba. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come Why you can't hold two people? Bring Felix. Boy Felix. There they go. Oh. Felix is back here by the culvert. Leave him there for 24 hours or something. There's grass there and there's lots of water. You can drink. It's beautiful, eh? You know, there's a lot of ways to raise your kids. I'm not saying that any one way is better than the other, but this is pretty awesome. It's definitely hard days, this is good days. Just like anywhere else, pros and cons. But to see them running around like this, it's fun. <clears throat> so we didn't find the cow, but so that means that we gotta make some phone calls and find out who moved him and moved him where. And then we'll go get him tomorrow. Parrot. I guess that ends another day. Thank you guys so much for coming along for the walk. It wasn't very successful, but we had a fun time. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.